How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a video on all the costumes within Yoshi's Crafted World on Nintendo Switch. I'm going to show you guys every single one of them within the game and show you how to get all of them very, very simply. So, thanks so much for watching. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, what are up with the costumes? What do you have to do with them? Well, the costumes are pretty cool and they are aesthetically based. So, let me jump on into it and explain exactly what's going on with them. So, over here in the scrapbook, you'll see exactly all the costumes that you have access to. Uh, anything from a train, all the way over to a garbage can, over all the way over to a cat, or some other crazy things. As of right now, there's 185 of them. No clue if they're going to add any more in DLC. But with these guys, let's say for example the train over here, you're going to get different durabilities. Meaning, if you get hit, you're going to knock off one little health bar additionally off your costume instead of Yoshi. So if you're having a hard time on a level and getting hit a lot, putting on a costume will make it a lot easier for you. The game is subjectively very easy and I don't foresee the more seasoned Yoshi players using a lot of the costumes to prevent hits, but I would say it's more of an aesthetic thing. Especially if you have younger audiences that are having a little bit of a hard time, I would say slap on a costume and have uh, easy mode going on through. So as you guys can see over here, this one says super rare. The costumes are not rare or super rare or anything like that. Uh, there's no gotcha mechanics, there's no random chances of getting these. It's just a little label that they put on there, so don't even worry about it. You'll see uh, any, anything from rare to super rare to uh, common uh, or normal over here in this aspect, so keep that in mind. Alright, so that's kind of what the costumes are all about. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get each of these costumes. And it's pretty simple. In every single one of these worlds, uh, let's classify Sunshine Station as a world or Yoctopus Docks as a world, or Gogo Land as a world, or Big Paper Peak as a world. Pretty much in every single one of these worlds, there is going to be a little gumball machine where you can jump on in and take a look at what's in store. So this gumball machine right over here, I've already purchased everything inside it. It says that there's 10 uh, capsules inside, and pretty much if you purchase all 10 of them, for 200 a pop, for a total of 2,000 coins, you'll be able to get every single thing on here. There's no odds, there's no chances of getting doubles, you're going to get every single one if you pay the 2,000. So, uh, each of these little machines will cost anywhere from 1,000 to max it out, 1,500, uh, 2,000, 2,500, and of course 3,000 for the last one. So, that's kind of how you get them in the game. There's a couple different uh, secret uh, costumes in the game that I do want to show you guys and I'll explain exactly how to get those and then we're gonna do a quick slideshow presentation of what each of these look like. So, costumes on board, there's a lot of them, right? There's some special ones too, if you guys take a look over here. Now, uh, these very cool looking ones, like the Nintendo Labo ones, they're the very expensive ones in the Hidden World. So once you unlock the Hidden World, you'll have access to the Great King Bowser one, the Toy RC Car, uh, the Toy-Con Piano, the Robot, uh, Torkir, Crumples Clothing, Poochie, Light Blue, Black, Pink, uh, and then that was it. So when you beat the secret final boss, which is going to be Kamek in the game, you'll absolutely get this brand new Kamek one. So that was actually cool. It's a reward for beating that. Blockafeller. Blockafeller is one of the harder ones. You're going to have to go through every single level, minus the boss levels, of course, and find Sprout. He's a hidden little box guy in the background or foreground of any of these specific levels, and you're going to have to find him in every single one. And once you do so, you'll be rewarded with this Blockafeller one. Uh, the Sun Dream Stone, this one is pretty awesome. This is the final rewards. If you collect every single smiley flower in the game, a little pop-up will come up and you will get this one. So that's pretty great. Now, you guys can see over here that there are some familiar ones, such as Mario, such as Luigi, Princess Peach, uh, and all of these guys. These are all amiibo-based ones. So regardless of what kind of Mario amiibo you have, if you scan in the Mario amiibo, you'll, amiibo, you'll absolutely get this one over here. So Wedding Mario, 30th Anniversary Mario, any of the Mario ones, you'll scan that in and get that, which is pretty cool. Uh, Luigi, same concept, scan in any Luigi of them. Uh, Princess Peach, scan in Wedding Peach or Smash Peach, and you'll get that. Uh, the Yoshi one, scan in any of the, either the Super Smash Bros. series or the Yoshi, like the Super Mario series one. Toad, believe it or not, that's a secret one, and no one knows about Toad. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Yeah, you go to like any site and you look up all amiibo costumes and they did not try tapping in Toad. But you guys saw it here first. Toad, baby! So, uh, yeah, you scan your Toad amiibo and, and that'll unlock. 
Uh, the Bowser amiibo, same concept. Uh, you have a Koopa Troopa amiibo, believe it or not. Yarn Poochie is a very, very cute amiibo. You have the green Yarn Yoshi, that's going to be the little one, or if you have the Mega Yarn Yoshi amiibo, that also scans in the same thing. Uh, you got Pink Yarn Yoshi right over here, same one from Woolly World. Uh, the light blue one, and then anything else that's not considered a programmed amiibo, like a Kirby amiibo, a Bayonetta amiibo, Detective Pikachu amiibo, Pretty much the cop-out for the developer is saying, hey, either we don't have these licenses in order to put them into the game, or we didn't have the time or budget to program every single one of them. So, you're going to get an amiibo box if you scan in those amiibos. So, uh, that's exactly how you get every single one of these 185 scrapbook amiibo costumes and every costumes. So, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go over, we're going to put it on Yoshi and you guys are going to bask in the cuteness that is every single 185 of these costumes on top of Yoshi. It's going to be super cool. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Stay tuned for even more.
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed every single one of the costumes within the game, and I hope this video helped you out with finding your favorites and or learning how to unlock all of these secret ones. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'm looking forward to reading all your comments on which ones were your favorite in the comment section below, so be sure to do that. If you guys want to take a look at the newest video on my channel, feel free over there. If you guys want to see exactly all of us getting every single one of these costumes, take a look at the playlist right over this way. Recommendations there, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Yoshi's Crafted World content and everything Nintendo Switch. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.